Unlike others, we know our demographic. All right, guys. So when you're going to check these wheel speed sensors, when you're looking at your diagram, you're, you only have two wires going into you know, the wheel speed sensor connector. One of them is going to have battery voltage all the time. That's going to be the one, if you're looking at your diagram, that says WSS, wheel speed sensor, all right? The other wire is going to be your low reference or your bloop, 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 your square pattern. So if you go to, if you want to bench test it, like we're about to do, when you have it unplugged, don't hook it up backwards. Put the 12 volts to the, the WSS one. So for the right front, that's going to be your dark green one. And then, and then your square volt one is going to be your tan wire. So dark green, power all the time. You could unplug it, put power right to that, then take your V500, boop, go ahead, hook up the other side while your buddy's spinning the wheel, see if you get that square signal coming out. And that's going to be on the tan wire. All right? Don't hook it up backwards. You'll mess something up. Let's check it out. All right, guys. So the first thing you want to do, you want to check this sensor out, right? You got to make sure it's got your battery voltage with the key on coming in on the input side. So we'll go ahead and check that. Go ahead, get your big bad V500. We'll go over here to multimeter, hit OK. So we'll go over here to multimeter. You get it. Okie dokie. Check it out. We're going to go ahead and check that. And look, all we've got hooked up is just the uh, the main power and ground leads, all right? We do not have these little guys hooked up. Go ahead and check that. Boop. And this thing's probably in need of a battery, but you can see we've got whatever's left of the battery voltage at the battery. Now we can go ahead, check for a square waveform and condemn the wheel speed sensor or the actual bearing if need be. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so to test this, you're gonna wanna go over to the, the return signal side. And on this side, it's the yellow wire. So we tap into that, like so. So tap into that guy. And let's get our big bad oscilloscope on it. Got with it. All right, guys, check it out. We're gonna get out a big bad V500. This thing's awesome. To do the oscilloscope, you only need to hook up your power and ground, you know, the main leads. That's it. We'll come right over here. Are you able to see the thing? I know sometimes it's hard. So we're we'll just gonna go down arrow to oscilloscope. It's not touch screen. We can pretend it is. I'll be like, boop. And what's really cool is this automatically adjusts. Is it? In, you can see it, the screen. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll go ahead and fire up the car. All right, so guys, we're gonna go ahead, fire up the car, put our oscilloscope on it, and uh, Ricky Rackett's gonna go ahead and spin the wheel, and we'll see if we get a reading. All right, check it out. So we got our oscilloscope. Oh, Ricky Racket there. You wanna say hi, Ricky Racket? Hello. That's Ricky Racket. And we've got our test lead hooked up to the return side. And you can see that before Ricky Racket starts spinning the wheel, when we touch the lead to it, you can see we get a little jump here. Boop. So, Ricky Rack will go ahead and spin the wheel. And you can see we got a signal starting here. You can go ahead and try adjusting the arrows till you get it 
Yo, there it is. Look at that. And that's exactly what we're looking for. All right, we just replaced this one. Let's check it out. Oh, we got a little jump right there. Boop. And there it is. And that's a good sensor.